This is one of my favorite lessons. If you've done other Code.org courses, you might have seen this. It's alien dance party time. I'm excited. I'm not good at dancing. I am good at alienating and hopefully coding. Let's get going. This is Code.org. Let's see what we have. What do you think will happen on click? Now, as a teacher, I need to tell you, when you write something and hit run, you won't be able to change it. If I'm your teacher, I'll get your answer. Or if not, your teacher will get it. All right, let's see, though. When run, set the background to sci-fi. Okay, so this background becomes some sci-fi thing. Then make new blue alien sprite at 200, 100. And if you hover over here, it looks like X and Y, so maybe 200 X, 100 Y. Yep, that's where the alien is. When the alien is clicked, okay, so if I click on the alien, what's going to happen? Sprite alien, so okay, when I click on the alien, this alien, what? Begins patrolling up and down. So moving, I guess? I'm going to write something. Keep in mind, I'm brainstorming and thinking about this with you. These are my words. Make sure you use your own. So... All right, so I said when this program is run, the background will be sci-fi and a blue alien will be created at 200x, 200y. If the alien's clicked on, that alien will move up and down. Oh, I have to click. <laughs> Boom. Onward. Cool, a video next. <clears throat> this alien was proud of its dancing skills on Mars. But now it can only move side to side. Replace the behavior block and Sprite begins to a different one that will make the alien start spinning. Okay, so right now it's just going side to side. Uh, when clicked. Click. Oh yeah. Boop. Okay. Keep coding, something's not quite right. And so they want it to a different one. Oh, okay, so we can just change it. So let me click behaviors and let's do spinning. Spinning. I'll get rid of patrolling. I'll put spinning. Boom. Yeah, onward. Create a new sprite that looks like a pink alien. Make it do any move you want when it's clicked. Try using the new move this time. A new move, okay. So I need to create a new sprite. Well, we already have this win run here, so we can use it. Let's add to it. Sprites, new sprite, pink alien. I can leave it at that location. Make it do any move you want when it's clicked. Well, this is just when the blue one is clicked. So let's see, is that an event, I think? Yep. When the pink dude. Uh, and now we need a behavior. So uh, I need begins, don't choose stops. And, okay, pink clicked, begins the action. Nope, behavior of, sure, swimming, go. Ha, <laughs> onward. Form an alien dance crew, create a third sprite that looks like a yellow alien and make it move when it's clicked. See all, okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to sprites. I'm gonna grab this and I need a yellow guy. Boom, oh, I need to move it over though, like they have here. So let's see, that should be, I think 300 for X. And let's give it a this, cause world, nope, sprites. And I think we need 300, 100. And dancing, so let's do event, clicked. Behavior, no, nope, stop. Behavior starts or begins. And then what type? Mm, moving west. Let me just change all this to our yellow friend and hit run. So now automatically this stuff will happen. And when I click yellow or blue or boom, pretty cool. Onward. All right. Let's try using different kinds of events. For this event, make it so that when a key is pressed, each of your aliens changes color. Choose any key you like, but if you are using touch screens, so these, yep, okay. So, so events is anything that can happen on a computer, and they trigger things. So when up is pressed, and I'm going to grab three of these because we got three aliens. Events. And not just up, I'll use down, and I'll use left i guess and then what do i want to happen events actions change color okay and so i'll say the yellow guy changes to green and then i'll do my pink guy orange it is blue changes to red let's go so when i hit or the keyboard keys boom Onward.
These aliens are running wild. Let's calm them down by ringing a bell. First, add a new sprite that looks like a bell. Okay, so sprites. Make a new sprite. Bell, sure, I'll do it there. Then add an event that makes each alien stop dancing when the bell rings. So I know it's an event. Okay, when... So when the bell is clicked, and then we need everyone to stop. So let's look for... Stops everything sounds good to me. Behaviors. So when the bell is clicked, each alien is going to stop. Yellow, and then I have my pink friend. Order doesn't really matter here, right? They could be in this order too. Run, and boop. Everyone stopped. Onward. For the pink alien, fun is contagious. Touching it makes it want to dance. Use the OK. To make the blue alien begin a new dance move. Oh, that's fun. So when, boom, right, on the event that the blue alien touches the pink, we need our friend the blue alien. Sprite blue does a new dance move. So behavior, um, I have no idea. Let's do growing. That sounds fun. Boom. So notice when the pink touches it, what happens? This runs, this is triggered, and that sprite starts growing but only when touching. Onward. Now create your own alien disco. Try these. Create another alien that does another dance move. Make aliens do more than one when they can't touch each other. Sweet. This is going to be awesome. I'll speed through mine, but I think I'll add a when touching event and then maybe also add another alien. This is kind of fun. All right, let's hit run. I now have four. When they touch, they wander. When yellow wanders, and if I click green, boom. Cool. Onward.